What's going on guys? Welcome to today's episode where I wanted to share with you a couple things that I feel like I've been getting a lot of questions on lately. And number one being, where the hell did I get my gym set up? Where did I get these bands? Where did I get this door anchor? Where did I get my bench? Why did I get these things? Guys, I tried to tell you the weekend before we went into quarantine, like this is what I'm gonna get and I highly recommend you guys get it. Like I, I said it from the start, like this is going to be the setup. This is an amazing setup that I've been using and I feel like I'm making progress still each and every single day. Like my workouts have been great. I'm sore all over. It's It's been awesome. And I just wish more people would have jumped on this that are following my videos because everything is sold out now. This entire setup behind me is a Body Elastics band set with the Body Elastics Ultra Door Anchor. And I am so glad that I bought this. So come over here and let me just show you up close in person what we've got here because I mean, you guys, you guys have been asking a lot and uh, I just haven't really been talking too much in my videos lately, but I mean, what we have here is a full set of bands. This is actually two sets. You can buy this set. It's called the 404 pound set. I believe it's about $140, but it's, it's 404 pounds because you essentially have 202 pounds per hand when you set them all up. 202 pounds per hand. Like, that's a shitload of weight. But basically what we have here is two of every single band that Body Elastics makes. We have this 30 pound band, which is the heaviest band that they make. Now this means 30 pounds from each end. So if you connect it from the center to something, now you've got 30 pounds per hand. So it's a 60 pound total band. And that's how it is for all of these and I, I feel that it is quite accurate. I mean, with a flat bench press, when I'm doing flat bench with these, I can, the most that I've gotten up to is doing 110 pounds per hand. And it's hard. Like I believe, I mean, it's either on par with dumbbell weight or even heavier. So, I mean, it's, it's legit. It's definitely heavy shit. But yeah, I mean, you've got a 30 pound band, a 23 pound band, 19 pounds, uh, then we go 13, eight, five, and three. And you can attach all of these at the same time to one handle. So you get to add up all of those weights across one handle. You're not stuck using just one crappy little band like most people are stuck with right now. Like, I feel, I feel bad for you guys that you didn't you didn't take my advice on this because this has been such a great setup. I feel like I haven't skipped a beat at all. And everybody keeps asking about the door anchor. This thing, if you want to get an up close look at it, it has multiple attachment points for your bands. You got these up high here in the middle. Then we've got one like dead center in the middle. And you've got a lower band and then a lower attachment down there. This whole thing snaps on like that. So you attach everything just like that. Snaps on super tight. I definitely recommend you use this on a metal hard door. I would not recommend doing this on a door that is like a closet door, you know, like a cheap flimsy wooden door, I don't think that that would be a smart choice because I feel like that would just rip the door right off the wall depending on how much weight you're using. But um, yeah, so this is a very solid door, very solid anchor setup, very solid band weight that I'm using. And everybody keeps asking like, do you believe that you can build muscle using only bands? Guys, it, has, it doesn't matter you know, if you're using bands or weights, the thing that matters is having the proper amount of resistance to stimulate the growth. That's just it, is you've got to be able to take the muscle 
to some sort of fatigue within an, a, a reasonable rep range. I mean, I'm sure some people have done it and built okay physiques on just push-ups, but I mean, I, I'm not, that's not what I'm going for, so. But yeah, guys, this setup, try to find it. Keep searching on Amazon. I'll put links in the description box below. Keep searching on Amazon, Body Elastics. It is the best band company that you can buy from. The reason I knew about it was because 10 years ago, I bought a set a long time ago when I first moved up here to train people in home. That was the first set that I ever bought and it was outstanding. This is it, they haven't changed it. They haven't changed it in 10 years because it was so great back then. I mean, it's it's been amazing. Band set to get everything that I have is about $140. The door anchor is about $60, so it's a $200 home gym setup. That being said, if you want to be able to work your chest effectively, I highly recommend you get a bench because you can only lean away from a door with band weight and do so much because it's just going to pull you back into the door once you get to a heavy enough weight. And that's one reason why I bought a bench, which you guys have seen in my other videos, it's a $300 bench. Um, it supports up to 600 pounds of weight. That is something that you definitely want to look into and consider when you're going to buy a bench. Make sure you buy, make sure you buy an adjustable bench so that you can get all the different angles. With what I have, the setup I have, I can do incline and a flat and a decline. And really it's all done from only a couple of the higher angles. Yeah, I mean, there's some things that I can do with the bands at the lower angles as well, but that bench was $300. So my whole setup here is a total of $500 for everything that I've been doing. Now, the only thing that is still kind of like difficult to work on legs to be able to get like a significant amount of weight to really crush legs. I mean, that that's something that I've been struggling with is finding different ways to stimulate my legs. I mean, you guys saw, you guys probably saw that last leg workout where I was doing the Bulgarian split squat of death drop set. Um, that was brutal, but I mean, it was 40 fucking reps per leg. Like, of course it's going to be brutal. So it's Wednesday. Technically I should be doing legs today, but I've ordered something else that is on its way. It's getting delivered tomorrow. I ordered a sissy squat machine, sissy squat set. I don't even know what you would call it. I only call it a machine, just like an apparatus for sissy squats. And if you don't know what a sissy squat is, it's basically something that holds and locks down your feet in place so that you can, you can lean way back and squat down super low. It's not here yet, but you guys will see it uh, tomorrow. I'm taking today off. For lifting I'm gonna do legs tomorrow and that shows up because I really want to use it and it's set up in a way that I'll be able to attach bands to the bottom of the machine and then hold them up over my shoulder so I can hold the bands here while I squat and get a significant significant amount of weight while squatting so I'm really looking forward to that showing up it's going to be useful long term I mean when we move from Chicago when we move out into the burbs to like raise a family, I plan on having a garage gym or some sort of like in-home, like legit gym where I'm gonna have a squat rack, bumper plates, bars, that kind of stuff. I am buying things now that will be very useful at that point in time. Like a sissy squat, something that I've been wanting for a long time that I haven't had at any gym. So like my plan is like once that shows up, I'll use it here a ton but when my gym opens back up, I'm gonna take it in there, make use of it there because it is a really quality thing that you don't see at many gyms that is definitely worth using. So so yeah, is that necessary to buy that right now? No, but I, I've been wanting one anyway and I've been eyeing them. So I just, I, I went for it, you know, I figured why not, might as well. That's gonna be showing up tomorrow. So I'm gonna be doing a leg day tomorrow, but yeah, today's gonna be an off day. So no workout to show you guys today. We just got this video. The other thing that I wanna show you guys is how I've been eating because you know if you've been paying attention in the last week you've probably noticed that I've dropped some weight I've definitely leaned out well maybe not dropped weight I haven't dropped that much weight actually but I'm just gonna show you real quick what I've been eating what I've been following for that so you guys just know what I'm doing keep you guys kind of up to date something that had to change 
with my meal plan. I mean, I've been doing like six small meals for a little while. Every once in a while, I'd have a day here and there where I was intermittent fasting because intermittent fasting is kind of like my go-to. It's what I've done for like most of the past 10 years with little spurts of doing six meals a day here and there or more, more frequent, like full day eating kind of setup. But since the quarantine started, uh, last Tuesday, I found that I have a really hard time controlling my calories when I wake up and eat, you know, right away in the morning. So I have switched back to an intermittent fasting protocol because it's just, it's easier for me to just not eat and just, and just wait because once I eat, my appetite just starts going and I just, I need to just keep eating and my, I, I, I can't, I can't control it. I mean, I just can't. And being stuck at home all day with uh, not a whole lot to do and food just readily available everywhere, it's just more convenient for me to do intermittent fasting and uh, I, can, I can just stick to the plan better. And that is the most important thing, is being able to stick to the plan, stick to your calories, stick to all that. At the end of the day, that's the most important thing is sticking to your calories, especially when you're on a diet, when you're trying to cut. And that's what I've been trying to do is slowly, very slowly lean out to keep as much muscle as possible throughout this uh, cut. As you guys saw, I weigh 246 pounds right now, which is <laughs> doing pretty good. Anyways, like I'm rambling now, let us let me just show you what I have been making for the past week. It's not gonna be a whole lot different here than usual. We do still follow the vertical diet. That's what we've been doing because I like it, it tastes good, and it just works. For the sake of showing you guys what's up, here's everything that I'm doing. First thing, we're taking instant rice and we're putting 110 grams in this. That is equal to one cup of instant rice. All right, and then on top of that, we're doing seven ounces of chicken bone broth. And then we're adding one cup of water. And then from there, we do one zucchini, one squash, two bell peppers, half of a bag of spinach, so it'll be five ounces, this is a 10 ounce bag. And then at least two pounds of meat. So here we've got 93.7 grass fed ground beef, and then here we've got 96.4 just regular grain fed ground beef. This is a pound and a quarter. This is one pound, so we've got two and a quarter pounds. This will cover my protein for the day for sure. But yeah, I try to I try to get all grass fed beef. Not that it's like super concerning, but personally I prefer the 95.5, but it's been sold out. So I do whatever I can to try to keep it as lean as possible. Um, if that means buying like a 90-10 and then buying one of these and mixing them together for that, like so be it. I would rather try to just get as lean of meat as possible. If I can't find beef right now, then I will do, you know, I'll, I'll do chicken breast. I, I mean, I'm not, not discriminating from the meats. Like I'm using beef as much as I can while I can get it, you know, if I can get it. And you know, if I can't, then I'll use chicken. I mean, chicken's pretty easy to come by right now, um, buying it frozen. So it's not the best thing, but we're gonna do what we gotta do to get through these times. So that's what's up. I'm gonna put this into here now. All right, and then on top of our meat, I'm gonna put a whole bunch of Himalayan pink salt on it. Then we're gonna throw that in our rice cooker. We're gonna hit the steam button and we're gonna set it for 15 minutes. Then we're gonna let that do its thing and that's gonna take care of that. So, so like I'll eat that in about two meals. So I'll usually, you know, have my first meal at about two or three or later, depending on the day. Um, two or three, the later the better, honestly. And then I'll have one more meal, you know, around like six or seven. Um, so I'll just eat half of it in one meal, half of it in the other meal. So the only other calories that I get in during the day outside of food 
is when I have intro workout, but today is a rest day. We're not working out today. I do still have my Redcon 1 products though. I have, I have them every single day. I have a little bit of caffeine every single day. Um, I still have my cranberry juice and my pomegranate juice every single day. Like those things don't change. The only thing that I don't have that I usually have is cluster bomb because that's just straight up cyclic dextrin. And if you're not working out that day, there's no reason to have it. So let me just show you guys what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna sip on this while I edit this video. And then once I'm done making this video, I'm gonna start eating. But we're gonna put four ounces of cranberry juice into here. And then we're gonna put in four ounces of pomegranate juice. Well, well, well. What? If it isn't you. Open the doors. I think I'm getting your videos in the morning. Nobody wants to see you. Nobody wants to see you. Sure. Alright, and then I fill this up with water. Go away. <laughs> Just trying to get water. Nope. Quit trying to show off your body. That's you. That is you walking around all topless. And then I do one scoop of big noise. One scoop of Moab. And instead of using Total War today, because I'm not working out, we're gonna use Double Tap instead. This includes a little bit of caffeine. There's no beta alanine in it, and there's no citrulline malate. And it's actually uh, Redcon 1's fat burner. So yeah, I basically use it just for the caffeine so that I don't get withdrawals from not having any. And then one scoop of Tango to keep my creatine levels stable. And people have been asking what flavors I use because you can get all these in different flavors which I don't actually. The only things that are flavored are these. And I mean, I get Total War and Big Noise in Rainbow Candy flavored just so that I'm not mixing flavors. Double Tap is Blue Raspberry because they didn't have Rainbow Candy flavored. And then Tango and Moab, you can get them flavored, but I get them unflavored so that I'm not just getting a bunch of random sucralose for no reason. What are you laughing at? Put your shirt on. Where are you going? You're such a show off. There you go again. Oh my God, you're so <laughs> Can't even walk through, my Can't even walk through here home. without keeping your shirt on. So I think tonight there is a Redcon 1 sale going on. I know the managers are posting that the that you should get the app because the app will tell you when the sale is going on. I'm guessing it's Wednesday. They're gonna do a happy hour sale. That'll probably start at like 5 p.m. Central Standard Time and run until like 7 p.m. Uh, and usually when they do that, it's 50% off or buy one, get one free. So if you're interested in picking up some stuff. Tonight would be the time to do it. I don't know if that's the sale, but I'm pretty sure that that's what it's gonna be. That's what it usually is. When they do a, ha a, a happy hour sale and they release it on the app, but don't think that you need to download the app to use it. Any sale that the app promotes can be used at the main site, at the main website, and I highly recommend that you use the main website because you can't put my name in the tier operator box if you use the app. If you use the app, I'm not gonna get any credit for it. And let's face it, that's the reason why you're using Redcon 1 anyway. <laughs> so. so yeah, use whatever code the app gives you at the main website and just remember to put my name in the tier operator referral box. They took away the ability for you guys to email me your order number and just have me like send it to them and then put it in manually. They don't do that anymore. So don't think that you can do that. Just take the time to type my name in so that we can avoid that. Um, or at least use the link down in the description box below because that'll link you to me as well. So if you click that link and then use their code, that will work too, but just put my name in the box. That way it's not confusing and 
they don't have a reason not to give it to me. What do you think about that? Can you let me eat in peace? What is, here's Laura's diet every day. She just eats life all day. That's and then not she true. does intermittent fasting too, because <laughs> she just eats what I eat at night. That's not true. And then tries to eat my food at night. You're telling lies. What else have you ate today so far? Coffee. Mm hmm. What else are you planning to eat? People want to know how to get in shape. Nobody wants to know what I'm doing. They want to know how to get your sick abs. <laughs> Uh, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, between all those things, it's not a whole lot of calories. So the only other thing that I'll do right before bed, I'll have about a quarter of this tub, about 250 grams of Greek yogurt. And then with that, I'll throw on some frozen blueberries. I might throw in a little bit of like cereal in it, just like small amounts of this stuff, just to kind of flavor it, crunch it up a little bit. I'll throw some cereal on it. I'll throw some honey on it to kind of sweeten it up a little bit. I'll throw a little bit of animal crackers if we've got them. I, I, I've kind of uh, enjoyed myself for my last meal of the day, just kind of throwing in whatever because I'm not going to overdo it in the way that like my calories go over 2,500. Like there's really not going to be a whole lot of calories in whatever I make here. This is more so just to satisfy any random cravings that I might have and, you know, get a little bit more carbs in. But that is, for the most part, pretty much it. But like this last meal changes all the time. Um, you like with what I add to the yogurt, but this is usually pretty standard. There have been some nights though that we've messed around with some different ice creams, splitting up a little bit of ice cream because Laura bought a decent amount of that to go through, which, you know what, I mean, I've been able to do it and keep my progress, keep making progress, so I'm not really concerned about it. Just trying to make the best of it and enjoy the time that we get to spend with each other right now, the time that we get to relax, hang out at home, you know, not work, have this little kind of staycation sort of thing going on. Yeah, and just ride this thing out. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you got something beneficial out of it. Hope you guys are staying healthy, staying safe out there. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Remember to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed because most of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed. About 60% of you actually aren't subscribed. So please subscribe. Remember, nobody cares. Train harder. And I will see you all tomorrow.